Hi there, and welcome to the day I learned about the show where we bug you to be a better person. Women are strong, intelligent, powerful beings until they see a spider. Why are women afraid of spiders? Well, maybe it's because they're fast as hell and can jump at you with no warning. Maybe it's because they have the whole world to build their webs. They always seem to build them perfectly at eye height. Maybe it's because they crawl in your mouth while you're sleeping and lay eggs in your stomach. Or maybe, hey, hold still, you got a spider in your hair. Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god, get it out. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, it's gone. Wow, that seems to be a very unreasonable response. I get it. Bugs are weird. They're like the opposite of humans. They're like little aliens, but without the flying saucers or the laser guns. And too many legs. Plus, there's no way to gauge how they're feeling. Like when you look at a dog, you can tell right away. It's happy, it's mad. Bugs, there's no clue. Every time I feel the tag of my shirt on the back of my neck, I immediately think, oh my god, there's a bug. And we discriminate. For some reason, ladybugs get diplomatic immunity. Butterflies good, moths, get out of here with your creepy clumsy flapping around non-pretty colors. But I say all insects should be admired for the incredible creatures that they are. If you're like, I do find myself disagreeing with you, Sean, let me be direct and let me say this with the utmost respect. Even though most of you will object, here are some facts you cannot neglect and will change your view of the insect. In need of something warm to cuddle, a beehive is the same temperature as a human body. If it becomes too hot, the bees relocate in the hive and start flapping their wings to cool it down. At any time, you just dip your hand in, pull back, fingers covered in sweet honey. Oh yeah, tasty snack. Warning side effects may be you get covered in stings and die of anaphylactic shock. Some insects have chemistry skills that make Walter White look like Jesse Pinkman. The Bombardier beetle has two chemicals kept separately in his body. When threatened, both those chemicals get mixed in a separate chamber. That chemical reaction creates heat, which causes expansion. Once that pressure is high enough, the hot irritant will shoot out of its ass as a self-defense mechanism. This process happens within milliseconds and then can be repeated at a cyclic rate similar to an automatic weapon. When's the last time your butt did anything cool? Probably never. The Darwin spider, on the other hand, has the strongest silk in the world coming out of its butt. The tensile strength is just a little bit less than steel. However, it is a lot less dense of a material making it super light and 10 times tougher than Kevlar. You over there pooping out melted chocolate bars and this guy just pooped out a bulletproof vest. Oh, you say humans use complex tools and machines? We live in houses, you play the ukulele, and bugs are just dumb and boring. Ah, uh, there is a steampunk bug. Your argument is invalid. It turns out these three millimeter long plant hoppers have mechanical gears built into their legs. It is suspected that they evolve these gears so they can synchronize their movements better. The mechanical action reacts faster than it would take for the neurons to travel to the brain. So when it jumps, the two hind legs move synchronized within 30 microseconds of each other. If that timing was off, the bug would spin out of control every single time it jumped. It jumps at such an accelerated rate, it can experience 500 to 700 Gs upon acceleration. Meanwhile, Top Gun fighter pilots only experience about 9 Gs. These gears only appear on the baby plant hoppers. Adults lose this ability. So these are like little baby training wheels. I agree, it's pretty cool, but the bug didn't invent that. Yeah, it is cool. Mm, but the bug didn't invent it. Shut your face. On top of all that, they are super resilient. During a nuclear war, it's not the explosion that's going to kill people. It's the exposure to radiation. Lethal exposure for a human is somewhere between 400 to 1,000 rads. A cockroach can survive up to 10,000 rads. And they're literally everywhere. They outnumber us by 1,428,571,428 to 1. With all likelihood, there's probably a bug touching you right now. Am I good Ah, so what I'm saying is, we should all bow down to our insect overlords and kiss their creepy little claw feet. So instead of smashing insects, smash that like button. So long and stay frosty. Uh -huh.